Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you the easiest way to beat mark on After Effects for your edits. So what we usually do while beat marking is go to the audio levels waveform and go to wherever the beat goes high and just place the marker, etc, etc. But now there is a way more fast and easy way to do it. It's super simple. So let me explain you real quick. You can do it using a tool called Smart Threshold 1.0. So this is how you use this tool. I will be showing you how to install it later on the on this video. So this is the interface of the tool. So here is how it looks. This is the the upper portion of the audio is called the right right level, and the lower portion is called the left level. So onto the onto the tool, you basically have both of these options, left and right. So by default, it's on left or right. So you must select it to both as we want to mark on both of the beats. Now comes to threshold. So this is what the threshold does. It's really simple. If I explain it. So take a look. Suppose this is a hundred percent of an audio. You want to mark on the highest beat or the most hard beat. So what you have to do is this is fifty percent, this is sixty percent, this is seventy percent. 80, 90, so on. So this, if you want to mark on the highest beat right here, it's not completely, completely all the way up, but it's around 90. So we set the threshold to 90. That means if if the beat or the audio level goes above 90, it will automatically place a marker there. So let me just show you real quick. You set it to 90 percentile. And now go to text. In text, by default, it will be set to none. Set it to index. Now select the layer and press run. Wait for it. We'll take a little bit. And here we have it marked. As you guys can see, it's completely marked. Oh. Yeah, and. It uh, basically marks the whole clip. It make it made a thing of hour into a second. So yeah, that's how you mark it using the threshold tool. Now I'll show you guys how you guys can install this tool. So this tool is on my pay hip already. You guys should go check it out. Or I'll have the link on the description. Just go there and press download now. <clears throat> and once you press on download now, it will ask for your email. Just put your email on and press continue. The download should stop. Now go to Explorer where it is downloaded and right click on it and just press extract to. So done doing that, it will open, it will make a folder. Go inside and you should have two folder in it. This is the installation, installation method and this is the Adobe JavaScript. So what you do is you have to copy this first. <clears throat> Once you copy, go to your drive C. Now go to program files, go to Adobe, go to your After Effect. Now go to support file. Now scroll a little bit down, go to script, go to script UI panels, and just do is paste it here. And once you paste it, it should directly add to your After Effect. I have already pasted it right there. So after pasting it, it won't be here. So what you have to do, go to window and all the way down, there should be this, the smart threshold. And it usually stays into a floating panel like this. So you can just drag it and put it inside your work area. And yeah, that's how you do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If this video helped, make sure to leave a like and comment down what should I cover in the next video. So yeah, that's it for today. Take care. Goodbye, subscribe for more.